I'm not a fetish. This is this video. Now, as you can see, I'm a melanated, beautiful woman. Hello. <laughs> um, and a lot of women who are my skin tone, who are darker, even lighter, don't want to be a fetish to a man who's outside of their race. Because the thing is, okay, I want to date interracially, but I don't want to be a fetish. Now listen, this talk is very important to me. Because I do not understand how you as a female can say, I don't want to be a fetish, but you're being fetishized every day. When you go outside, you wear a tight dress that enhances your boobs and your butt, your hips, your whole figure. What are you doing? You are sending signals to men who like these things to come to you. You are talking to the man who has a fetish for big boobs because if you have big boobs and you show them or you enhance them a lot, you are talking to men who like big boobs. When you show your legs, as a woman, because you, you have nothing going on up here, but you have long legs and you have beautiful legs. What are you talking to? To men who like legs. When you show your butt from the side in skinny jeans, in tight jeans, in tight skirts, in tight dresses, you're talking to men who like butts. These are all fetishes, ladies, every day, every day. You talk to men who are boob fetish when you wear tight stuff. You cannot read it in the, on their head. The man may not talk to you and tell you he has a fetish for boobs. You think, oh, he genuinely likes me. He just thinks he's beautiful. But in the back of his mind, he likes big boobs. But he isn't telling you that. You don't know it. How does you know that he has a fetish for legs if he comes and approaches you? You think, okay, he just, you know, you know, you we women sometimes, we act as if we, we are not, we are oblivious to stuff. We know exactly what we're doing because we have that feminine power. We have that woman power. Now, if I know I lost the weight, my I have my hourglass shape or I lost the weight. I'm skinny. I lost the weight. I am now looking my best and I wear tight fitted clothing to attract a man to me because I want a man and men are visual. What am I doing? I am playing on some man's fetishes without knowing it. Without knowing it. When a man has a fetish for nice, luscious lips and you wear red lipstick, what am I doing? While I'm talking, he's looking at my lips and I notice it and I play with it. I use it to my advantage. I am seducing him. When you women, you go out there in the club, you wear tight dresses. What are you doing? You are alluring men in because you want to have fun for a night or because you just want to get to to have a man for the night, or you want to date someone. What I'm saying, every day we women, we put out signals for men with fetishes without knowing all with, with our intentions. When you put up tight stuff, now it's getting warm. When I wear hot pants and I show my long brown tan or you know dark legs or light legs, whatever skin tone you are, what are you doing? You are showing your legs. You're making men turn their heads. You're making men stare at it. You're talking to the men who think you're generally beautiful and you're talking to the men who are just specifically into legs. When you wear a long dress that is tight on the hips, you know, here, what are you talking to? You are making men break their necks to look after you. You are making men crazy like, oh my God, my thing is reacting down there. I want this woman. I need to have her. You will see them whistling. You will see him coming in their fa your face, doing you up and down like, hey mama, what's going on? You will see men, you know, with money looking at you like this. You will see men with money looking at you like this, like... You see dusty men grabbing their stuff. You see cheap men whistling. You will experience everything because you as a woman, your beauty and your body is a power. And the power comes when you know how to use it against a man. If a man comes to me as a dark skinned woman, or you a black woman, I like black women. Well, congratulations. Okay, does he get any credits from me for that? No, why should he? Well, I have to get to know him as a man. If he tells you, okay, I like black women. Now you are the same woman that say nobody wants you. Now you have someone who tells you, I like women who are specific your type because they turn me on, because I just like them. What about women who are blonde? They get fetishized as well. I like only blondes. Oh, he only likes blondes. Oh, and then you go and put a blonde wig. 
Or all blondes have more fun. I see ladies getting blonde just to get a man. I see ladies getting redheaded just to get a man. What are they doing? They're playing on the man fetishes. They're using it to their advantage. When a man says he only likes blonde, girl, this is a fetish. It's a fetish. I only like tall women. It's a fetish. A preference, if you want to call it, if you don't like the word fetish. I only like light-skinned women. It's a fetish. It's a preference. I only like women with black hair. It's a fetish. I only like black women. It's a fetish. I only like women. It's a fetish. The power comes to you as women when you look your best. You present yourself in your best form. And you, you attract the man who wants you. And you filter out the man with good intentions, with bad intentions. Because you decide the dynamic in the relationship. If he says he likes you because of your hair, your lips, your hair, thank you. Okay, tell me a little bit about yourself. You study him. You learn about him. Do not let this little fetish thing, the little fetish remark set you off. Trying to learn from him. It's a game. Don't forget it. Okay, he likes women with long legs. Now, the next time you want him to do something for, for you, what you do, you wear a, t a short skirt, you show your little leg. When you want your husband or your boyfriend to do something, what do you do? You don't say, hey, go ahead, get me the groceries. You know, you wear a little stuff, show me some cleavage. Honey, can you get me, you know, um, some ice cream from the store? And you have a dress that is up to here. He's going to be like, uh, yeah, yeah, what did what, you say you wanted again? Yo, uh, ice cream, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we women, we know it's power. We know it's power. We should use that power. If I know a man likes my skin tone, girl, I'm going to get fancy body lava. Spread here. I'm going to wear a top that is up to here with a long batik skirt, long hair. I'm going to put some fancy lava glow up here. And the next time he talks to me, oh, you know. Oh, yeah, I want to go to that restaurant. He's just looking at you like, oh, my God, you're glowing. You look so beautiful. Your skin looks so shiny. Thank you. Are we going to that restaurant? Yeah, 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 of course. Which restaurant do you want to go? Which restaurant do you want to go? I have to show everybody that uh, I'm with a beautiful woman. Damn, mama. I like them thighs. I like them butt, your butt, your hips, whatever they, they say. You do, and then you wear a tight skirt, you know, showing your form. And you like, oh, you know, I like a man who treats me this way. I like gentlemen. And he's just looking at your body like, this girl knows what she's doing. When you know how to use it, you become more intriguing for men. You become more seductive. You become more alluring because you know how to use it to advantage. Now, I'm not saying to give in to men who have just a fetish and are crazy. I'm saying the longer you prolong not sleeping with them, the more information you gather, the more you know his mind, the more you know how to gain him. And your number one tool is your brain and your body, your beauty. That's why weight loss, the, the beauty cosmetic or the cosmetic industry, Everything is always booming and will always make money because beauty is indeed a tool that can be used for good and bad. Look at look at women out here snatching other people's husband, snatching other people's uh, boyfriend with their looks. With their looks. So the next time a man says, oh my God, I have a fetish for you. Just listen to him, try to find out his mind, try to find out how you can play on that and filter and get the most out of it and use your power, stand in your power. The more you love yourself, the better you present yourself, the more you don't even care about little stuff like that because you know you look beautiful. You know your skin is glowing, light, dark, brown skin, but specifically black women because you hear that a lot and you're afraid of the fetish. You can either dump this dude or you can have the experience of knowing how it is to use that to your advantage. So ladies, don't get offended. Don't be sensitive. This is just an empowering video to you all out there. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye-bye.